Hey, groovy friend. I stopped for a moment while riding my bike when I thought of you. I thought of you because I was thinking about how sometimes things happen to us uh, that throw us off track, throw us off our greatest intention to take better care of ourselves. I know for myself, I had a, a fall on my bike in early August and it didn't stop me per se, but it did throw me off. And I got off track in my self-care and nurturing myself. And the thing that brought me back was group accountability from some very, very close family members and friends. And there's something about being in community when you are um, struggling or stressed out or just finding it uh, challenging to move forward on your intention to take better care of yourself. And for me, Having people around me that remind me of my commitment, that hold me uh, accountable for my intention, that really makes a difference. It, um, it lights a fire under, underneath my feet, if you will. So, are you struggling with your own intention and commitment to taking better care of yourself? Did something happen to you that threw you off track, that's stopping you from finding the time? Do you need a community of support to cheer you on, to hold you accountable? Well, guess what? I got something for you, and it's completely free. It is called the Thriving Mindfully Academies Exhale and Simplify Yourself five ways to thrive challenge it begins september 20th and ends on september 24th during this challenge you're going to have an opportunity to spend five days with me and a community of people to support you in identifying how to be present to yourself in your body in your breath how to set an intention on taking better care of yourself, looking at what's getting in the way of you taking care of yourself and releasing that or beginning the process of releasing and forgiving that and then moving your body and then practicing mindfulness through gratitude and self-celebration. And so each day you're going to tackle one of those areas and we're going to learn together how to use a one minute mindful self-care practice. That's right, one minute. We each get 1,440 minutes every single day. And so we have one minute to practice self-care, which is our birthright. And the thing about self-care is that it becomes a practice when we treat it as a muscle, that we exercise it. And it takes time. And every day is different, every week is different. And it's my hope that at the end of this five-day challenge that you will walk away with at least one minute self-care practice that you can put in your mindful self-care toolkit. Now, if that sounds like something you want to do, if you want to join me, click the link in my bio, sign up, invite your family, friends, and colleagues to join you, make it a... Uh, a family, friend, or colleague activity and prepare for the fall season. I'll see you in the challenge. Bye.